Welcome back to the Don't Call Me Skinny podcast. Ready for another rant? Me too. Buckle up because today you're going to be hit with some hard truth bombs. And you know me, I don't hold anything back. If you like what you hear, be sure to rate it, review it, and share it with a friend. Watch out. Here is another Friday No Filter. Hello and welcome to the motherfucking 150th episode. That was a little excessive, I'm sure. But you know what? I'm going to tell you a little tidbit fact about podcasts, okay? This little tidbit fact about podcasts is that like, I'm in a 1%. Uh, I, don't even, I don't even know how to say this. I am like the 1% of people that start podcasts, meaning only 1% of people get past like 10 episodes. Did you know that? I didn't know that. But I know that now. And I blew by that by what, 15 times at this point? I don't, I don't do math, so I don't, that could be totally wrong. I don't really know. Um, but dude, this feels absolutely incredible. I'm super fucking stoked. I feel incredible about it. I love that I got three episodes out this week because it felt good. It feels right. And I'm, I'm excited to keep going and continue. So that being said, uh, welcome to Don't Call Me Skinny Podcast. Super excited, you guys. All right, we have Friday No Filter coming up here shortly. I just want to do a quick reminder, quick rundown, quick quick review of what we have coming. We are officially in launch of the next round of Group Coach Program, which has a new name, new everything. I already have people in it. Uh, I'm super excited. And it's called Weight Loss for Real Women. So if you are a woman, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds overweight, if you are fucking tired of the yo-yo dieting, tired of being on the hamster wheel, tired of doing things and nothing seems like it's fucking working, hi, that's where you need to join. This program was made, was built for you. I have people in there currently during this round who I literally gave their food and they're like, wow, this, I'm not sure about this because, um, this is more food than I normally eat yet. That's probably like what we need to pay attention to. (laughs) Right. Also. So she's just so, you know, my, this one particular client was like so excited that she's losing weight on more food. Um, so she's very excited about that. So they're kicking ass in there. They're taking names and there is that. So officially, officially, officially launching of the group coach program. If you have questions, you guys, please reach out, but you can click the link in the show notes and see for yourself what's going on in there. That being said, if you guys listen to Wednesday's podcast, I had a great guest, Dr. Emily Jacobs. She came in and we really talked about things that I think I see a lot with moms, a lot with women, and specifically, honestly, things that are my clients struggle with, uh, and which is why we talked about these specific things was because my clients struggle with this. And I don't think it's abnormal. I actually think it's quite normal that women are in this space, that they are struggling in this space doing these things. So what we specifically talked about was people pleasing and boundary setting. And while on the outside of these things, it looks very simple, very easy, very um, like, oh, just say no, or just don't do that if you don't want to. Um, Has anybody like seen the meme? It's like, nobody doesn't want to do something more than me that committed to something like two weeks ago. Like that is a thousand percent me. I, I like com- overcommit sometimes. I'm like, yeah, don't really I was like, I'm not really feeling like I want to do that anymore. <laughs> or, or we say yes when our plate is too full and we're trying to help everybody else, but we tend, we tend to not fill our own shit. And then it's like, eventually you drain. Eventually you're, you, you're tapped out yet. You're trying to give, give to all these other people but nobody's there to help give to you. So I just want to reiterate some of the things that we touched on. I actually talked about this on the call too, but I'm going to reiterate this again because I think it's important. Um, There was like a, eventually if you ever see the video of this, like it looks like there is a like a string hanging from my microphone and I thought it was like a, a spider web or like a, I don't know what, not a web, but like what is it that you call like a, I don't even know what the name of it is in this moment. It like totally fleeted my brain. I uh, can't think of it. We're going to move on. Uh, anyways, it was coming down and it looked like it was going on my head, but that's irrelevant. So um, anyways, we touched on 
in my community shit ups. We are shit ups ourselves to death. I should, I should, I should, I should, I should be farther. I should have lost more weight. I should have done better last week. I shouldn't have had the alcohol, the cake, the this, the that I should have. I feel like I, I'm not doing enough. What do I need to do? I need to do more. Tell me what, just tell me what to do and I can do it. Right. We should, should, should. That's where we live our life is should, should, should. And we can't, we can't live here. We just can't live here. And it's like, okay, I might not be where I want to be, but I'm working towards a better. Okay, so that choice that I made didn't actually serve my goals. So how can I make it different next time? I always like to language flip. It's not actually something that we talked about on the call with Dr. Emily Jacobs, but I don't know why I have to say her name like that, Dr. Emily Jacobs. Okay, but it is something that I think is important and it is something that I think is necessary is to start the language flipping. So if you're a person that should, should, should start flipping how you actually are talking about yourself. I should be able to do all this. I shouldn't need to ask for help. I shouldn't need to do all these things. And it's like, but should you though? Really? Are you sure that the expectation that you're setting for yourself is like realistic, right? Coming back to always questioning like, and it's not in a way, not questioning in a way of shame, but questioning in a way of like, does this actually make sense? Like, I think it's okay. Here's your permission to actually say to yourself, okay, so I definitely committed to this. Like, did, did, should I have done that? Should, there's a should, right? But really, is this something that is actually going to benefit me? Do I have capacity to take this on to the best of my ability for that person? Mm, Maybe not, right? Something else uh, that we talked on is the inability to ask for help and more importantly, the inability to receive it. Something that we really hit on was like when somebody's like, uh, you know, are are you okay? Like, hey, how about I take, go blah, 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 blah. No, no, that's okay. I'm all right. It's all good. It's okay. I got it. Meanwhile, you're having a fucking dumpster fire in your brain and you're just like, okay. And literally that's what's happening, (laughs) but we're offered help. And then we resist it. We're like, no, no, no. Can't go have that. I know nobody, I can't have people thinking I can't do things. Like we talked about that. Right. Um, or if you're like me, you're just like control freak and you're like, no, I have to fucking do it on my own. Like, stop, don't tell me what the fuck to do. Like, shut up. Like, I'm going to do this how I want to do this. No, you don't get to load the dishwasher how you want to wash, how you want to load it. Like giving up that control can be really fucking hard. But you guys, I'm going to tell you this. And this isn't something that we talked about on that call. So this is why I'm bringing it here and I'm bringing all these things up. I'm just going to tell you this right the fuck now. If you cannot ask for help when you need, receive help when it's offered, if you cannot shift your language into should, 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 should versus I'm, I might not be where I want, but I'm, but I'm going to keep going. This week wasn't great, but I know things that I can change to make next week better. That is literally one of the questions here we are with us literally again on my check-in form for my clients. What is one thing that we can do different next week to be more successful? Maybe the answer is fucking nothing. That's an acceptable answer, but maybe it's like, well, I didn't meal prep very well this week or, you know, I didn't have my water container with me most of the days. I kept forgetting it at home or, um, you know, I kept hitting the snooze button. So I'm going to try to get to bed 30 minutes earlier or 10 minutes earlier, even each night, just to try to get a little bit more sleep. That was actually a win on one of my clients check-ins this week was like, ah, I'm trying to get to bed just a little bit earlier just to see if I can get some more sleep in. Great. Does it mean we have to go to bed an hour earlier? No, try 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just go, right? And so we don't talk about these things, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if you guys can't, ladies, if you ladies cannot start doing those things, asking for help, receiving help, and changing the language that we use towards ourselves and about ourselves, this will never work. And I say that and it's like, you're not just going to wake up one day and fucking do it. I'm just going to tell you that right the fuck now. You're not going to wake up a day and just be like, okay, oh, all my language has changed. Oh, yes, I'd love to have your help. Oh, please come help me. Oh, I need all your help. No, this is done in the meticulous work that we do 
This is what we do. And I actually talked about this on in my group coaching call today in Shape Up 360 was we wait like it's like we wait and we wait some more and we wait some more and we wait some more until we like we can't do it anymore. Right. And, you know, one of the things that we talked about was like waiting so long, like everything is super surface level. Right. We, we are, you know, we we're just very surface level on things. And it isn't until we start digging down deeper that's a song somewhere. That's a song. I know it's a song somewhere. It is until we start digging down a little bit deeper that the deeper things start emerging, the deeper things start coming to surface. And that's where we get to do the nitty gritty work. That's where it's not just surface level. That's not where it's just like, oh, here's your macros, track or this. Go get your workouts in. Cool. Like, yes, that's all a part of what we do, but that is not the work. That is not the meat and potatoes. I always say weight loss is a side effect of this. Weight loss is a side effect of getting all that other shit in check, getting all that other shit in order. And you want to know how you do that? You put the fucking rep in. reps in. <laughs> and unfortunately, majority of us women don't know how the fuck to do that on our own. We don't know how to chill the fuck out. We don't know how to ask for help. We don't know how to receive the help. We, we don't know how to stop shaming ourselves, stop guilting ourselves. I can't talk right now. Woof. We don't know how to do that on our own. We literally need somebody to coach us on how to do that. Yes, Sarah, it is okay to say, I don't want to do that today. I always call it pause. You can pause and you don't even have to give an answer. You can be like, can I let you know? Can I get back to you? Here's a prime example, right? Prime example. This week is kind of turned into a fucking disaster shit show. Just going to say it. It's kind of turned into a disaster. After last week, putting down my dog and um, I, I'm in a wedding on Friday. Well, today, technically, because this is going to air on Friday, but it's not today. But uh, on Friday, I'm in, uh, today, I'm in a wedding. And the wedding, the, the groom, is he lost his mom on Saturday. So we put our dog down Friday. He lost his mom on Saturday. Now, they, they, they were planning for it. She was in hospice, okay? But that has added another element, right? Now you have a funeral. And now, and then on top of being in stuff for the wedding. And, and so it's this trickle effect of like, oh, there's more on the plate. There's more on the plate. And now our air conditioning broke. And the guess when the guy is coming? Saturday, uh, when, excuse me, Wednesday morning. Well, guess when, when the funeral is? Wednesday morning. So it's just like one thing after another, after another. And I'm going to get my hair cut on Thursday. And then I'm supposed to be going to help on, you know, set up for the wedding for today. And it's just like, yeah, okay, all this stuff, right? Got all this stuff. And it's like, I, I don't know if I can do all that. Like legitimately, I had a whole conversation on the phone with my best friend. And I said, look. I felt like I told her I would help. Well, shit got put in my lap. Shit got put in her lap. And now our lives are kind of both just like upside down. So what do you do? What do you do? You have an honest conversation. That conversation went just like this. Hey, so um, there's a lot going on. Right. Okay, cool. So I'm going to get my hair cut at 12 o'clock on Thursday. And I know you're setting up the hall from 12 to 5. Awesome. I'm going to call you when I'm done getting my hair cut. Okay, because I just get my hair cut. I don't dye it. Uh, I don't dye it there, I should say. Uh, I'm going to call you when I get my hair cut when I'm done. And you're going to tell me if you still need me to come because it's not super close. Okay, so I'm, I have to make quite a drive to get there. And I'm gonna tell, I told her, you're going to tell me if you actually need me to come. If you don't need me to come and everything is handled, great, because she knows I have a lot of shit on my plate, right? If you don't need me to come, I won't come. But if you need me to come, you need to tell me I can, I can come, I will help, I will make the trip and I will get it done. Right. So there's this honest conversation of like, okay, let's stop and assess what's happening. Listen, I committed to helping. I'm okay with going if you need my help. But if, if two hours in and you guys are going to wrap that shit up in an hour and I'm barely going to get there, well, I probably don't need to come then. And, and you guys have it handled and it's taken care of. And it's just about having an honest conversation. But on the flip side, I did tell her, don't you dare not tell me to come if you need my help. And it goes both ways. She's like, you don't need to come if you don't need help. Great. But if you do need my help, you need to, you need to tell me that. You need to vocalize that. And it's, so it's really just about honest conversations. And I'll tell you this, those are hard for people. Being honest about shit is very fucking hard. 
It's not an easy thing to do. Also something that has to be coached sometimes to look through a different lens. We're emotional creatures. So if we're doing things from an emotional state, we are going to be emotional when we have these conversations. Okay. But I'm going to tell you this all. I'm, this is the reality. The reality is the truth is without fixing, being able to ask for help, being able to receive help and flipping your language, this process, you are uphill in a white water raft. Okay. I guess I'd be up river, whatever. That is what's going to happen. You are going to be fighting against yourself so fucking hard. Everything is going to be harder. It's going to take longer and it's going to be more frustrating. So I highly encourage you, if this sounds like shit, this is, I definitely need some work here. I definitely need some help. We are going to be touching on these things in weight loss for real women. Why? Because we're real fucking women. That's why. And this is part of real women's lives is this piece that nobody fucking helps you with. Nobody fucking talks about. That's the truth. It's the truth. Nobody fucking talks about this shit. So I hope to see you there. You guys, you can click the link in the show notes. I'm super soaked. I can't even believe we hit 150 episodes. Fucking mind blown. Doesn't even feel like it, but here we are. I'm actually about, let's see, September, October, October, like four-ish months out from my second year, like going into second year here. So this is just incredibly crazy to me. Um, and so I'm just thanking you guys so much for, for showing up every week, listening, all your feedback, your ideas, your thoughts, and just telling me, Hey, this completely resonated with me. Please keep going. I listen to your podcast every week. I look forward to it. It literally, it's like the light of my life. I love you guys for that. And I just, I wouldn't be here still showing up like this if it wasn't for you. So I really, Truly appreciate each and every one of you that show up every week with me. Uh, This doesn't happen without you guys. So on that note, I hope you guys have an amazing, an amazing weekend. I hope you guys uh, get outside, get some fresh air. I know for me, I got the wedding and I have daughters for swim meet for high school. Super fucking excited about that. So on that note, I will chat with you guys. I don't know if there will be a Muscle Monday. We'll see how the week goes. If I can get one done and out, I'm going to do that. Um, But if not, I will catch you guys next week on Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your time. And if you like what you heard, please be sure to screenshot and share it with others who may enjoy it too. Don't forget to click the link in the show notes to see the ways that we can work together to start your journey. Always remember that every day is a new day to do better, be better, and begin again.